together, we can set up our own local server. This server should have a purpose. For today's example, we're going to share a picture of a panda to anyone who connects from our Wi-Fi. The first step we need to take is to install node.js. Go to the node.js website in the description and select your current operating system. What is Node.js? Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment. Usually, JavaScript code needs a web browser to run. Node.js removes this requirement. Once downloaded, agree to the terms and conditions. You should be able to keep the pages at their default values and click Next. Next, we will create a new folder for our work. I would suggest creating it somewhere it's not likely to move like a dedicated projects folder. I'm going to call this Hello Local Net and place it in my YouTube Tutorials folder. Now we will open this folder with a tool that comes packaged with recent Windows computers called PowerShell. PowerShell is basically a direct way to communicate with our computer and tell it things to do. With PowerShell open, we want it to point to that folder we just made. We can do this by copying the address from our file explorer window. Then we need to type CD and paste the address in quotes. Now hit enter. If that was a lot, I'll provide a quick explanation. CD means change directory, which is a fancy way to say take me to this folder. We pasted the folder we wanted in quotes because PowerShell gets confused sometimes by things with spaces if they're not in quotes. With PowerShell open to the folder, it's time to install Express. Type npm install express and click enter. npm is a tool that came with Node and helps us install things that work with Node. Express.js adds features to Node to make setting up server applications easier. Now everything is installed and we can add the code. In File Explorer, right click and create a new file. Call it index.html. Then create another and call it app.js. Right click and open index.html. I'll be using the Notepad++ editor found in the description, but the built-in Notepad editor will be fine for what we need. Pause the video and copy the code I have here. What this file does is set up the page our server will open to. In the head tag, we set up some basic things like screen size and page title. In body, we do three things. We add the basic text, hello local net. We set up an image called panda.jpg to be displayed. And we write a basic alert in JavaScript. Prepared to see a panda? Save this. Then open the app.js file. Pause the video and copy the code I have here. This page is where we use Express to serve our app to our local network. We don't need to worry too much about the details here. Basically, the app.js file starts Express and tells it to listen on a port. Here, we also tell Express to use the slash public folder. This means any content we want to share, like panda photos, must be in the public folder or else Express will not share it. Open up File Explorer and create this public folder and inside of it, the images folder. It's time to take a quick programming break. Let's find a picture of a panda. Ooh, that's a good one. Ha, this one's having some lunch. I like him. Let's save it. Right click, save as, and we will put it in that images folder we just made. Now for the home stretch. First things first, and this may sound scary, we need to turn off your PC's firewall. If you're not at home or on a network shared by devices you don't completely trust, wait to do this step until you're on a safe 
network. This step should not be done at a cafe, school, or hotel. Turning off this firewall opens connections to your local network, both good ones and bad ones. You may turn it on whenever you're not using the server. To turn off your firewall, go to Control Panel, System and Security, Windows Defender, Firewall, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. From here, select Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall for the type of network you're connected to. If you're not sure and want to be sure you don't click the wrong one, you may turn off both. Now that our firewall is off, the last thing we need is our computer's IP address. To go with our metaphor, we need our computer's at to get in its DMs. Let's open PowerShell again and type in the following what this does is tell PowerShell to show us the IP version 4 address of our computer. If you have multiple entries returned, it's probably safe to use the first one. Write this down. We'll need it in a minute for the final step. It's time to run the server. In PowerShell, go to the folder our app.js is in. Just like earlier, Copy it from the file explorer. Type cd in PowerShell and paste the address in quotes. Hit enter. Now type node app.js and hit enter. You should get some text saying our server is running. Now let's check out our website. Take your phone or any device connected to your local network. Open your web browser and type in your IP address, the app we talked about. Then type in colon, the two dots. And finally, the port number, those DMs we mentioned. Hit enter. You should see that alert we set up. We're prepared to see a panda. Click close. And there we have it. Together, we have set up a local network server.